hello Virgo viewers. I'm going to look into your situation, uh, what your person is thinking, wanting, feeling, just whatever the cards want to say. Oh, that one popped out. Yeah, clubs, party, social life. Could have something to do with someone you met at a club or a party for some of you. Let's see what the story is. The last reading I did, I was getting that you were going through a major psychic awakening. Like you're going through some pretty intense life changes right now, especially spiritually. And when you come out of this process, you're not even going to want the ex back. You're, you're not even going to look at your past relationships the same way. You're coming into a whole new perspective. Very big paradigm shift here. What's the story? What's the story? Knight of Pentacles, Southern of Pentacles, Four of Swords. The Devil. Yeah, some of you are still sort of... Um, sorry, let me straighten this out for you. Some of you are still holding on to a toxic ex a little bit because it's like with the Knight of Cups, it's like you're wanting to go forward. Or it could be a toxic ex that's thinking about coming back around to you. And it's like someone's just holding on to this because it's familiar. Because you worked so, someone worked so hard for this. Someone bled for this. Someone put so much energy into this connection. And it's like you don't want to just let go of that now because it's familiar. It's like you don't want to. You're afraid of, like, someone's afraid of being single. They're afraid of what that would look like. They're afraid that they're going to lose hope in the future. Like, they don't want to go through the dating process again. It's like they already worked. They already bled for this. They already waited for this. They already sacrificed so much for this connection. But it's like, do you really want to sacrifice any more than you already have? You know, when you're in this Four of Swords energy and the devil is all about um, you know, repeating patterns and, and toxic addictions, codependency, repeating this pattern with an ex. But, you know, like I said, you're coming into a whole new paradigm shift. So you're the magician. You can, you're, you're the magician. You, you might have, um, maybe like, maybe your ancestors practice witchcraft or you know how to practice witchcraft or you're studying witchcraft and you are drawing from past life knowledge there's just a major energy of psychic awakening here. And it's like you're still kind of getting caught up on this ex energy. It could be that this ex that you've been waiting for might be coming back around during Mercury retrograde as well. You know, they might be manifesting this. And it's like when you when they come back around, though, do you really want to get caught up on this energy again? Page of Wands. Yeah, a, mes a message coming in here about passion. Um just like a passionate, it's going to be like a drunk message or something, like just like a message of, of passion, of emotion, just sort of sudden, quick movement. And you're going to have to stand your ground and be strong because it's hard when that loneliness hits. It's hard to be strong, but you need to remember why this ended in the first place. I think that this situation, it's like it was so familiar to you and you put so much into it that you didn't want to let it go because it's like you just felt like, like, well, all that effort's wasted now. All that, all the time we spent together, it's all just a waste now. And it's like, it was a karmic lesson, but it's like you're holding on to it or they're holding on to it. And it's like dragging out when it really it was just supposed to be a karmic lesson. And I know, I hate saying that because I know that's painful. Like, I've been in those situations. Like, it sucks because it's like you just want that to be your person. But your guides are saying this is not your person. And this person is toxic. Like, you know who this person is. This would be someone who's like toxic, who it's like you just had to fight for them. It's like it was always a struggle. And I know that you're probably sitting there thinking, well, like, yeah, like I had to fight for them. I had to wait for them. I had to we had to, you know, go to couples counseling or we had to learn how to communicate or we, um, you know, they put me through all this and I I stayed by their side. Like, I don't want to just throw that away, you know, because it's familiar. But it's like, think about it. Do you really want to waste another month or another year of your life in that same energy. Like think about all the things you've already sacrificed for this person. Think about all the things, all the good opportunities you've already passed up for this person. Think about all the, the potential that's been wasted because of this person, because of this energy that's just drained you again and again. It's just been like a constant uphill battle, a constant struggle. And you would know who this person is. If this is your reading, like if this is resonating 
Like, you would know who this person is. This isn't, like, a good person who just had some issues. This is, like, an ex that's probably, like, really draining, really toxic, ghosting you, like, emotionally unavailable. Like, you would know if this is your story. Um, you should be resonating with it if it's your story. But it's, like, think about it from a different perspective. Like, do you really want to waste... You Yeah, you have wasted a lot of energy on this. You have put... A, you have put... You know, you've bled for this relationship. You've put so much into this, whether it's someone you're currently with or, or an ex. It's like you you spent a lot of your life in on this relationship. Like you drained a lot of your energy. And it's like, it's frustrating, but do you really want to waste another day on that? Do you really want to make another sacrifice? Do you really want to let go of another opportunity for that situation? Like, cut your losses and, and get your energy back and make, you know, so you don't waste, waste any more of your life on this person that's just draining you. This person's a psychic vampire. They're just going to keep draining you. They're not going to stop draining you. They love that you fight for them. They love that they know they can do whatever the hell they want and they can come back around and you're still going to be there. They love that. Like, they, they love that. They absolutely love that you are just always there. But the thing that they don't see coming... Because you are about to get in this magician son of wands energy where you're powerful, where you just manifest whatever you want in your life and you are not going to want them back. You're already starting to not want them as much. But I think when you really fully claim your power and come into your power, you're really not going to, you're not going to want this back. Some of you are already in this energy where you've already let this person go. You've already moved on from them and you're already the magician. But this is this is what's in store for you once you let this go. This is a karmic cycle. There is you need to maybe do some shadow work and think about what the lesson was in this. Um, I hate saying that because I hate oh, I hate readings like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but do some shadow work, maybe some journaling, and think about like what what did this relationship teach you? What did it teach you about? preserving your boundaries, protecting yourself, giving to yourself the same way you give to other people. Like, what did it have to teach you? Because there was a karmic lesson there and it's like you holding on to it, you're dragging it on. Um, for some of you, maybe like you're like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, I let go of this person and maybe they're going to come back around during Mercury retrograde and you need to not get sucked back into that energy. Because what you have ahead of you, once you, again, you guys are all in different paths. I mean, you're it's the same story, but some of you have already let this go and you're already the magician and others of you are still struggling because you spent so much time and energy on this and you're struggling to get into this energy. But once you really cut and clear this and release this and move on, you're in the magician energy. Like the world is your oyster. You can manifest whatever kind of love you want, whatever kind of career you want. Like, you can just make the world what you want. Like, reclaiming your power. Soul retrieval. Reclaiming your power. Taking your energy back from this toxic person. What else is in store for you once you let go of this person? King of Swords. Hmm. Building something with someone. Building a new life with someone. This is... <laughs> This is teamwork. So that's the difference between this person and your ex is that this is teamwork. This is two people building together. This is two people learning to communicate together. This is two people. It's almost like with the ex, like if you waited for them, it's like they didn't ask you to wait. You just waited hoping that they would do the right thing and they didn't, you know, I hate to, I hate to sorry, I hate to say it like that, but it's kind of true. But like with this person, it's like if they do need time, they're going to be communicating with you saying, hey, just wait for me. I'm getting it together. Like they're going to be open and honest. And that you probably, I don't think you would have to wait for this new person. I don't think you would. I don't think you would. You have this new life coming in once you let go of the toxic ex. You have this new love coming in once you let go of the toxic ex. You have all this abundance coming in once you let go of the toxic ex. The Three of Pentacles is about teamwork. It's about creating something new. It's about building together. So it's like mutual energy. Like you need to learn to, um, you know, like you need to receive the same energy you're giving out. It's, it's an energy exchange. And you didn't have an energy exchange with this ex. You were just giving and giving and giving. And they were, they were giving you little breadcrumbs here and there. And that's it. You know, this person is going to give you the whole meal. <laughs> 
It's like, this is someone that you would just, they'd be on the same page with you. Like they would be building with you. They would be, if there are issues, like communication issues, they would be, um, they would, they would be learning how to communicate with you. Like they would, you know what I mean? Like they would be working through it with you. They would putting, they would be putting equal effort and energy into the relationship. Yeah, Eight of Swords, and it's right ahead of you, but you don't see, you have all these swords around you, and you have your path right ahead of you with your castle, with your king or your queen, with being in your power, with manifesting the life and the career that you want. You got to go through that. You got to stop looking at the swords around you and start realizing that, you know, wake up and realize there's an opening right ahead of you with your castle and all the dreams that you're asking for. You know, you have the life that you want right ahead of you. You just got to get out of the Eight of Swords energy. Some of you might need to do a cut and clear ritual spell on the X. Maybe that's why it's for some of you. That could be why the energy is coming up. Maybe you're like, I have let it go. Why are you doing this? But maybe it's like telepathically on some level, you haven't let it go. Like your soul is still connected to them and you need to cut them out so they can't because they're a psychic vampire. So if you haven't cut those cords, they could still be draining you. So you need to cut the cords. You need to cut those cords and you need to use your intuition because you're not doing that right now. The moon reversed. It's like. Like your intuition warned you about this ex, but you're like, nope, don't want to see it. Don't want to accept that they're toxic. I want to, nope. Could be like you felt them cheating on you and you're like, no, I'm just being like dramatic. Or like you felt them like, like you knew it was done. You knew it was bad and you ignored that, which happens. It's like, it's hard when you love someone. It's hard not to ignore that. I'm not blaming you guys. Like it's hard not to ignore that. I mean, it's, I mean, it's hard to. It's hard because you see what you want to see. If you're really deeply in love with someone, it's really hard to admit that they're toxic and then that, that and that they're not good for you and that it's not going to change, you know, especially when you put so much effort into the relationship already. It's like you just you don't want to let that go. But once you do let that go, once you get out of the eight of swords, you you once you open your eyes, you take the blindfold off, you cut and clear them, you look around you, you ground yourself. You have this opening to your castle, to your king, to your queen or your queen, to your two of cups, love offer, stability, someone who is going to want to build with you, someone who is, it's like you're, you're attracted to like emotionally unavailable people and you got to break that pattern somehow because it's like you're just giving and giving and giving and you're not getting anything back. And it's like this, if you step into your power, if you, if you cut this out, if you stand your ground, if you if you do the shadow work and heal this pattern and heal and let go of this connection with the ex, finally, you know, cut and clear them, do what you need to do. You have, you're the magician, you become the magician. Like you're going to go through an energy shift like that. Like you're already going through it for some of you. And, and some of you have, have gone through it. Like you're already the magician, but it's like, you're the magician. You manifest what you want. You, you can have the life that you want. You have this love offer coming in and you start realizing what you deserve, finally, that was part of the lesson with the ex. It's like, once you let that go, you start like, you start seeing the lesson in that. You start realizing that you don't ever want to give so much of yourself to someone who isn't giving you the same energy in return. With the Three of Pentacles here, you have someone who is actually going to build with you, who is going to support you, who is... It's going to be mutual. It's not just you chasing and you giving and giving and giving. It's like this person is going to be surprising you with flowers and taking you out to dinner and, you know, building with you like like a team, like just mutual energy. I support you. You support me. You've never had that before, I don't think. So it's going to be new for you. But you've been in hermit mode and you got you to gotta be introspective and be honest with yourself. And you got to go through this heartbreak. Some of you, again, not all of you. Some of you are, are past this energy already. But some of you still need to go through this heartbreak. You're, you've been avoiding, you've been procra procrastinating and avoiding this heartbreak and trying to, you know, like, oh, it's okay. We can work through it. We can work through it. We'll, we'll go to counseling. It's like, no, it's, you know, this person's toxic already. You already know that. You got to go through the three of swords if you haven't already. You got to release this. Some of you, it's like a warning that maybe you still have feelings for this person. They might be coming back around and it's like, you just need to go through the pain. You need to ignore them and shut them out no matter how hard it is because you know it's not going to change. And you're the high priestess. Again, once you go through this heartbreak, through this, some of you, it might be a dark night of the soul. I hate to say it, but once you go through that, you're the magician. You're the high priestess or the high priest. You are might be manifesting a new person with the initial B or J as well. 
like once you go through it, it's like you, the world is your oyster. You have everything you want. You are in your power. You're studying, you're meditating, you're um, pursuing your hobbies, pursuing knowledge and new skill sets. You're, you're just wise, you're intuitive. You, and you stay, you need to, your intuition comes from your guides. Like your intuition, like your third eye has been really blocked because you haven't wanted to, to face the truth about this toxic person. So like your guides have been screaming at you, but you've been ignoring them. So it's like, this is also you getting back in touch with your guides and working with them and trusting them and allowing your guides to help you. Like they're not, the red flags aren't there to hurt you. The red flags are your guides screaming at you. Hey, this isn't a good path for you. You know, like they're not trying to control you. They're just trying to say, Hey, this is going to lead to heartbreak. Listen to us, you know? And, and you want to trust your guides, you know, your angels, your gods and goddesses, your, your, your fairies for some of you, like your, your high vibrational beings, like they love you. They're here for you. They're, they're trying to support you. Listen to them. Trust them. Trust your body's intuition too. Like if you feel tense around someone, um, if this is your reading, I do private, I do paid private readings. My email is below. If you'd like a private reading, just send me an email. Also, I want to say any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. Let's see what else we can get here. Yeah, making a choice. Two of Pentacles, making a choice here. Getting out of stagnation and, and stepping out of your comfort zone. And it's you have to make a judgment call. You gotta you really need to trust your intuition more. You need to you need to reconnect with your spirit guides and you need to trust your intuition more and stop ignoring it for this fuck boy or fuck girl or whoever they are. Just I hate to say, I hate to be so blunt. I'm sorry, but it's you need to trust your, you need to get back in touch with your intuition. You really do. Your guides want you to trust them. They want to talk to you. They want you to, you know what I mean? It's like you're ignoring all these high vibrational beings that are trying to help you and guide you and protect you. You're ignoring it for someone that doesn't even care about you, really. Or someone who's just a narcissist and just isn't capable of love. Um, again, for some of you, like you've already come out of this energy, like this is some of you are already in the magician high priestess energy. Um, and some of you are, are currently going through it. Some of you, your ex is coming back around during Mercury retrograde. So it's like a warning. Don't get sucked back into that energy. You need to listen to your intuition this time. You need to be smart this time. Don't be manipulated. You need to be strong this time. Don't get, don't, it's like back and forth, back and forth. They, they hit you up when they're bored and lonely and you get sucked back into it. No, be strong this time. Be the high priestess this time when they come back around. You are the high priestess this time. You're not the same insecure little girl that you were in the past. You are the high priestess. You are powerful. You are strong. You are independent. Like you just, the world is your oyster. You are in this energy. Or high priest, could be male too, like I said. You gotta let it go. Five of cups, you gotta let that ship you gotta, you gotta be the beautiful mermaid that you are and just hang it on this rock and let that ship sail away. Let it go. You can watch it go. It's going to hurt. You got to process the pain, but let it go and find a balance. You are the high priestess. That's a powerful card. You know that? Like you probably have, like you probably have ancestors or, or past life, like, like witchcraft, psychic work. Like this is your path. Like you, you're tapping into hidden knowledge. Just don't ever ignore your intuition again. You really, that's one of your lessons. Don't ever ignore your intuition like you did again. Because you have new love and you have someone that's going to choose love over fear. Risk, reward, like someone that is going to realize you're worth it. You're not going to have to scream at them to try to get them to realize what's right in front of them. They're just going to see it on their own. They're going to feel lucky to have you. And you guys are going to be a power couple. And you guys are going to build, build together. Build, build. I can't freaking talk I make sense right as long as I make sense to you guys <laughs> yeah you're getting past this pattern of codependency and I also see this as like passion too like you have passion with this person could be someone spying on you yeah you got to get through the pain first though you're in the stagnation and the shyness and fear of rejection Show me the new person more. Show me more about the new person. It's like you're there. You are so close to manifesting the everything that you want in love, in money, and just, just abundance like you've never known before. You are so close to manifesting the entire 
like everything you could ever dream of. Like you are a powerful um, magician. Like you are pow like you are able to manifest whether you actually like whether you actually do witchcraft or not, or whether you just do like vision boards and affirmations, whatever it is. Like you have the ability. You have some really um, like hidden psychic abilities, hidden um, spiritual abilities that you're not fully aware of, and those are going to come in. Once you cut these patterns out and cut these toxic people out that have been blocking you from being your true self, once you cut that out, you're going to be yourself. You're going to be your true self. You're going to reclaim your your intuition, your power. You, you, you have a strong intuition and it's like you've been burying that intuition for so long because you didn't want to be alone and you didn't want to face the truth about the toxic people in your life. But if you just go through this messy healing process and you trust your intuition and you connect with your guides and you trust them and you trust your your higher self above all else, you're not going to have to be alone. It's like in that moment, yes, you will have to be alone because you're going to have to face the truth about these toxic people and you're going to have to cut them out. But then your intuition is so strong that it's going to lead you to this true love, this, this king or queen of swords or whoever they are who is going to want to build with you. It's going to, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's a very temporary loneliness. Might be some stuff you got to work on here. Yeah. Because you don't want to come off cold guarded, dis distrusting to this new person. Finances and career, it's a good focus right now. Sex seduction. Show me the new person more. Show me the new person. What do you need to, let me word that in a better way. What do you need to know right now about the new person? Open, honest communication message. Could be someone from your past that's nostalgic for you that maybe you didn't give a chance to and they might be coming back around. Could also just be saying, hey, we like we got to get through the ex before we can manifest the new person. But you're going to be taking it slow. You're going to have like more of that like temperance energy, like more of a balance, you know, not so chaotic as, as it was with the ex. Yeah, this person is going to be loyal, stable, vows, and you're going to feel that. You're going to feel that they're loyal to you. You're not going to, you know, it's like your intuition might have been screaming at you that your person was cheating. And it's like you you suppressed your intuition, which is like one of the worst things that you can do, which I know that I know that it's hard, though. It's hard to face the facts about someone that you loved, but you have loyalty and stability coming in with someone new, someone who is going to be loyal. And you're going to feel that energy. You're not, you're going to, you're going to trust them. Like you're going to, you know what I mean? Like you might be scared at first, but it's like, you're going to feel safe with them. Your guides are, they're guiding you to this. They're guiding you. Pay attention to the synchronicity. Really, really. There's such a strong courage for it, a certain motivation forward movement. So it's like, you can have the life and the love that you want once you cut these patterns and these, um, this, this energy out. Cause I got, that was the energy I got a couple of weeks ago, like major psychic awakening major psychic awakening energy um major life changes it's like you're not gonna want the ex back after this after you go through these changes and you're the high priestess like you're not gonna whoever this is that might be coming back around during Mercury retrograde like you're not gonna care about them once you're in this energy like you're gonna you're you're going through a perspective shift but it's almost like it's like uncomfortable it's like you've been so stagnant and it's like almost kind of scary stepping out of your comfort zone so I think some of you this might be like a message for some of you that like saw my last reading and now you're kind of like like you're excited but part of you is like oh this is unfamiliar and it's like you're kind of going into fetal position like oh my god I don't know if I'm ready for this it's like, no, you are. You're the high priestess. You're like, you're so powerful. You're the magician. You're the, like the most powerful person in the deck. You're like, you don't even know how powerful you are. You don't even know how capable of you are. Like, I swear, you've got some like ancestors that were witches or like past life. Like you are a witch in your past life or something. Because you can manifest anything you want. Anything you want. And you're about to, you need to realize that. Like you need to, you're being so humble. Stop being humble and start claiming your power and getting into this magician and high priestess energy and cut these fools out like it's time it is time to step out of your comfort zone it is time to make the world your oyster it is time to reconnect with your guides and listen to your intuition and always stay true to your intuition from now on no matter how much it hurts your guides are not telling you this information to hurt you they're telling you to protect you if they're warning you about someone if you see the red flags you need to listen to the red flags they are there for a reason once you get in this high priestess energy, though, the loneliness is very temporary. I don't think you'll even feel lonely when you're in this energy because you're going to be so, like, in love with life and just 
so excited about this new energy. I don't even think you're going to feel lonely and you're going to, you're going to have someone coming in quick. That's going to want to build with you and be loyal to you. And they're going to see you in this high priestess or high priest energy and see that you're the entire package and you're not going to, you're going to be in your power. Like they're going to be chasing you. You don't need to, don't chase another fool ever again. Don't ever know. Uh -uh. They're going to be chasing you. You need to be chased. All right, I hope this resonates. Um, I do private readings, like I said. Any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up, and I appreciate it just knowing, you know, just, it, I just appreciate it. I really do. Um, and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you for watching.